going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we have a 2008 Honda Civic review for you. Um, yeah, I think it's probably one of the best all-around vehicles for a college or high school student and I'm going to get into it in the video and explain to you why that is. All right, here it is. It's currently eight degrees out right now, so I still have to uncover the car. Just started it, started up no problem. Like I first stated, this car's got 220,000 miles on it. And it's really uh, dusty. Should've probably cleaned it off a little bit, huh? It's all right, it's good. Runs extremely well, doesn't look too bad for having 220K on it and being a Michigan car. So um, yeah, little to no maintenance on these guys. Honestly, it's as simple as just doing your oil changes, getting good tires, doing a trans floss every here and there. Um, making sure that all your suspension components are taken care of and not letting them go unmaintenance at all. Uh, yeah, so what else? What else could I say that I like about this Civic? So, like I stated earlier, why I believe that this is probably one of the best kids or cars for a uh, kids, cars for a college or high school student is simply just put the two door version of this car. If you're not comfortable with your kids driving around other people yet, kind of you know limits the factor that. People don't really want to sit in the back of a coupe and um, no one wants to climb in through a back seat. Granted, if that's not your biggest concern, then yes, they make a four door model of this car. And obviously, Civic's got a well renowned name for being one of the most reliable cars on the road. Um, I bought it with 175,000 miles. You can find these cars for fairly cheap. I got this car for a grand. Um, I ended up having a little bit of uh, front end damage, front fender, and front bumper. So I got it for a thousand bucks and I fixed it up for $600 and uh, put some new tires on it and I'm all in for 1800 bucks and I've gotten 55,000 miles on it and all I've done is oil changes and tires. So like I said, this car has done me extremely well. I've taken two trips to the Keys in this car, I've driven all the way up to Mackinac in this car. Um, I drive it every single day without fail. It starts everywhere I go, gets 42 miles to the gallon. So I get like 440 miles to a tank. So with gas prices going up right now, it's a super beneficial car to have. Um, but I'm going to do enough talking outside and I'll do a little bit of a walk around and then we'll go for a quick drive and we'll call it a video. Hope you guys enjoy and uh, try to give you a little bit more information on it. So you're coming up to the car, you're opening it up. You can obviously see it's got its wear. You got automatic front window, you got power locks, you have cruise control, you have power mirrors, you have heat, you have obviously AC, you have rear defrost, you have the max AC button so in the summertime when it gets super hot, you have your standard little uh, Plug. You have an aux cable down in here, so it's not super ancient. It doesn't have Bluetooth like the, all the new cars, but this is your standard five-speed auto with um, first or third gear. Also optional if you ever need to be in a pinch and you're in snow like I am and need to start off in a little bit of a higher gear. Um, this passenger seat has plenty of room, but like I stated, the back seats do not have the most room, but you can still comfortably if you had to. Sorry, it's a mess, guys, but fit five people if need be. And the seats are actually fairly comfortable as well. So um, let me uh, get these windshield wipers going so we get all the snow off here. You have your Speedo right up in front of you, which is a nice little uh, guy, so you don't really always have to continuously look down here. Um, I have the trunk open because I'm going to show you guys the trunk. It's got a extremely Hello. good radio system, surprisingly, for being factory. Honda's always been really good with a good... Uh, good, good. Don't monetize this because Just Beaver's on here. But yeah, it's got an extremely good radio system. Um, you still have the classic old CD chick changer. This one has the sunroof. This is the EX model. I'm not going to be opening that right now to show you guys. Um, what else do we got here? You got a pretty decent amount of uh, room in the trunk for storage, per se. I got my longboards. Um, I actually put a hitch on here, too. So I can take my paramotor. I have this little thing. I've actually towed a 3,800-pound boat with this. So this car is extremely capable in terms of you know what you need to do with it but you can pull up to like 2,000 pounds 1,800 pounds comfortably if you you know you do sailing kayaking or hunting or anything of that sort you can pull a small boat or some sort of small trailer um you have like i said plenty of trunk room i go snowboarding with all my buddies i can fit up to four boards back here board bags one two three four com comfortably but unfortunately obviously you'd have to have the seats down so you wouldn't be able to have more passengers so that's the unfortunate part um you can also get a roof rack installment or ins um, bracket for this so you can uh, roll with a roof rack and have the ski carrier up top um, these are 205 tires so they're a little bit skinnier um, but let's do a little bit of driving test in the snow considering we're in Michigan right now and it is snowing out so let's hit the road and um, give you the best point of view I guess I could possibly give you on the road so let's go 
All right, so let's strap you in, go for a quick drive, and uh, talk a little bit about drivability on this vehicle. So we got about six inches to, yeah, we actually have about 10 inches of snow on the ground right now. Um, probably get some of the snow off the car, huh? Even though it's not such a view, so. There's little to no blind spots in this car too. The A pillars are a little long and slanted, so it's kind of hard sometimes to see when it's dark out, but other than that, it's it's fairly easy. Um, let's get a little speed and stop at the stop sign in the snow. ABS kicks in no problem. So you ha do have ABS in this car. It's not that old where it's that ancient. Oh, here comes the plow of trucks. It's all trucks. Not not taking the Evo out today. But no, this car, super comfortable. Pretty, pretty good on long road trips. The only thing I can complain about, I guess, is not having enough lumbar support in it. So if you're worried about something like that, that'd be the only complaint that I'd really have. Um, it does really, really well on highway speeds, cruising 70, 75 miles an hour. I'm getting 38 to 41 miles per gallon. If I do 65, I'm getting closer to like 45 miles per gallon. I don't know if any other Honda owners get this kind of good mileage. I don't know if it's having my tires inflated to 40 PSI or what it is, but the car does really, really well on fuel. So my girlfriend lives all the way in Cleveland and I drive, it's 175 miles there, 180 miles back because I take a longer way back just for fun sometimes because uh, toll roads and whatnot. And um, yeah, it does the whole trip in a single tank of gas without a problem. I have a little bit of gas when I get back. Um, in terms of handling, the car handles, it's extremely nimble. So if you want something that's agile and quick and has a, it's peppy, it's got a 1.8 liter uh, Honda motor with, uh, does not have VTEC, so this is a non VTEC motor. There goes the salt truck, I'm about to drive right through it. Great. Pure Michigan, people, pure Michigan. Um, so I think it has like 150 or 140 horsepower, plenty to get you up to speed. Um, brakes are great, it has four wheel disc brakes. Like I stated earlier, it's got 205 tires on it, so they're not super, super wide, they're not super, super skinny. It handles pretty darn well in the snow though, and I'm, I mean, I'm driving on four inches of snow and I'm able to just grab and go, and these aren't even on snow tires. If I had snow tires on this vehicle, this car would be an absolute animal in the snow. I had it on my old uh, four-door Civic Si, and it, it drove just like my uh, Subaru WRX, but only in terms of uh, stability left and right, not acceleration. Any all-wheel drive vehicle is gonna trump a front-wheel drive vehicle. So, um, but yeah, no, the radio, like I said, works great. Insurance is also another great factor. I only have PLPD on this, and I think I pay $280 a month, or $280 a year for this vehicle, which is extremely cheap in the state of, extremely cheap in the state of Michigan. Um, Full coverage is probably anywhere from like 580 to 700 a year for this vehicle. I wouldn't recommend getting full coverage if you're not spending that much on it. You can pick the four door model uh, Civics of this year. So they made this from 06 to 11, this body style. You can pretty much get all the um, 06 all the way up to 2015 or 16 before they start going to that 1.5 turbo motor. Um, I, I, I'm a big fan of these motors, standard transmission or the, uh, the automatic. They're, they're both great. I prefer the manual if I could have gotten it, but um, I'm going off on a tangent here. Where, where was I at with that part portion? So yeah, why I like, you can get any of those kind of body styles in between them. The reliability on them is great. I just don't trust the new CVT transmissions at all. I never really trusted having a snowmobile centrifugal clutch for a transmission for a car. Granted, some people are completely cool with it. Me on the other hand, I'm not the biggest fan of it. Um, but you could pick these cars up. That's where I was going with price points. So you can get these cars for with 50 to 100,000 miles. You can still find them with that kind of low mileage for around, let's say under 6,500 is probably the most expensive you're gonna see these cars go for, which I find to be extremely cheap, extremely cheap and super reliable. When you're gonna get a car that's gonna get you at least 300,000 miles if you take care of it correctly, and it's gonna be super reliable and not leave a strand on the side of the road, I really, you can't beat that. So, like I said, this car is for the money. It's one of the best banks for your bucks. And if you get the four door model, you're able to, you know, fit five people super, super comfortably. Um, you could buy a higher mileage one with 120, 130,000 miles. Don't let the miles scare you. You can buy one of these things with 180. Like I bought it with 175. I've got, I'm 50,000 miles into it and not a single issue. I just take care of it. I do my oil changes every 3,000 miles. I have done my trans flush, the trans still shifts well, so you can tell it's starting to show its age, but I'm still gonna probably get another 60,000 miles out of this car, and I have not had a car payment 
in in three years on this car however long i've owned this car now i've not had a car payment i just pay insurance that's it literally i've paid this car over a couple of times just insure insurance alone that's how screwed you get but it is what it is you, you need insurance right so overall i love this car um it's been a great great daily i'm gonna keep rocking it because it's just super super practical and super safe so i know everyone wants to keep their their child very very safe and this has uh it's 4.7 or 4.6 stars out of five for safety rating Honda's well known for that um yeah so if you're looking for a great reliable car for your kid your, your daughter your son for college or high school you know and you're not looking to spend a crap load of money and you're you know you're not really wanting to finance or lease a car the thing about leases i don't really like is sure great you get a brand new car it's super reliable you don't have to worry about that kind of stuff but when you buy a car that you know you're not going to have a bunch of problems with it's worth making that little two three thousand dollar investment rather than buying something you're never going to get your return on buying a lease or renting or getting a lease you're, you're kind of throwing away money sure you have that peace of mind but what's a little uh strut to fix or you know a tie rod or something like that that breaks versus having to spend three hundred dollars two hundred fifty dollars a month on a lease and then something happens to that and you got to worry about it you got to turn it back in it's just you got this you get dents you get scratches you, you they hit something it's not the end of the world you know you don't have to to, to freak out about it it's not i spent you know i gotta got turn this thing back in i gotta worry about it right you want to buy him a brand new car and they, and they crash it or they, they get scratches on it then you got to start worrying about it and care more about it so I'm not saying you care less i'm just saying when you obviously spend less on something you don't have to be as oh my gosh it's such a big deal that i did this to it or i did this and it's oh, i messed this up it's brand new it's, it's not brand new you're gonna get the miles out of it you're gonna get good fuel mileage you're gonna get good safety ratings you have good storage space you can go on long road trips you have good radio you have heat you have ac you have all the essentials that you need in a good everyday reliable vehicle so if i were to um and get a vehicle for a kid that I don't have, but this would probably be it between this and a Subaru WRX. I just, fuel mileage would be this. If you really want a great all wheel drive vehicle, I would recommend Subaru. I stand by them 100%, as long as you keep up on maintenance in those. Those are a little bit more tedious. So I'm gonna leave it at that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hopefully it wasn't too ranty, which I'm assuming it was, but apologize if it was. Just trying to give you as much information as I can off the top of my head. So um, yeah, if you guys like this review and enjoyed it, I would really appreciate it if you guys would hit, hit the like button and um, hit subscribe and click that little bell icon. I really, I, I greatly appreciate it. We'll do some more car reviews and I will uh, keep informing you guys on what I feel is the best vehicle from my experience with automotive history. So like I said, my background's in automotive mechanics and that sort. So I have a very, very, very broad view and uh, knowledge base on vehicles. So yeah, let me know what you guys think and uh, have a blessed day. Take it easy.